Tonight, we are just weeks away from a new era in human space flight. SpaceX will launch Americans into orbit from American soil. It'll be the first time this has happened since NASA retired the space shuttle fleet nearly 10 years ago. Channel 2 space reporter Roseanne Aragon takes a closer look at what this mission means for the future of space. Now this will be the ninth time in world history that humans launch from a brand new spacecraft system. After going through many tests to get to this point, this is expected to be a huge milestone for NASA's commercial crew program and the world. This is a new generation, a new era in human spaceflight. The SpaceX Demo-2 mission, launching Americans from American soil for the first time since the shuttle retired in 2011. It's uh, probably a dream of every test pilot school student to have the opportunity to fly on a brand new spaceship, and I'm lucky enough to get that opportunity. Shuttle veterans and now Demo-2 Joint Operations Commander Astronaut Bob Bankin and Spacecraft Commander Doug Hurley will launch from Cape Canaveral in SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule atop a Falcon 9 rocket. It's been a long road to get here. Training at the Johnson Space Center and SpaceX. Five seconds. Five. Then testing. You know, hundreds of thousands of hours of tireless effort. This is going to be on May 27th, like getting the World Series, the Stanley Cup, the Super Bowl all rolled into one. After a successful demo one and in-flight abort test. But this time we're going to check out the life support systems, uh, the spacesuits, the display system. 21st century technology, touchscreen display controls, and the sleek SpaceX flight suits. It really is an integrated um, system of Dragon. Um, it plugs into um, the seat. In orbit, the Dragon will have a two-day rendezvous to space station before docking autonomously. But Hurley will have some time to take over manually verify that it handles the way we expect it to and the way the simulator shows it to fly in case the eventuality happened for a future crew. My heart is sitting right here and I think it's going to stay there uh, until we get Bob and Doug safely back. They will set the stage. This really is the next major step uh, in commercializing low earth orbit. But this time NASA is asking everyone to watch online. We won't have you know, the, the luxury of uh, our family and friends being there at Kennedy to watch the launch, but it's obviously it's the right thing to do. Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News. That is the future.